Hello friends, welcome back to Smart Study. In this video, we will learn how to multiply a two-digit number with a three-digit number. So friends, having done the multiplication of three-digit numbers, let us now see how can we multiply a three-digit number with a two-digit number. For example, let's say we have to multiply 694 with 73. Now multiplication of a three-digit number with a another two-digit number is as good as multiplying two three-digit numbers. What we need to do here is this two-digit number, this two-digit number that is 73 has to be converted as three-digit number. That can be done simply placing a zero in front of 73. So simply placing a zero here. The reason behind keeping a zero here is that once this number becomes a three digit number, we can apply the same five step procedure of the three digit numbers. I mean three digit multiplication even in this case. There is nothing but first we need to multiply the units places. So first we need to multiply the units places, then the cross multiplication of units places with tens places, then again cross multiplication of units places with hundreds places and multiplication of tens places. So the fourth step is cross multiplication of tens places with hundreds places and the fifth step here is multiplication of hundreds places. So the procedure that we have learned in case of three digit num three digit multiplication can be applied for three digit numbers as well. I mean three digit number when we mul when it multiplied by two digit number by keeping a zero in front of uh, the two digit number. Let's see what's the answer for this question. Now the first step here is, uh, I mean, the first step as we know is 4 into 3. 4 into 3 is 12. So 2 in the answer and 1 gets carried forward for the next place. Second step is multiplication of units places with hundreds places. So 9 into 3. So 9 into 3 is 27 and 7 into 4. 7 into 4 is 28. So 27 plus 28 will give us 55. So 55 plus 1 is here. So 1 is the carry here. So 55 plus 1 is 56. 6 in the answer. 5 gets carried forward. So now the third step here is cross multiplication of units places with hundreds places. And the multiplication of tens places. So 6 into 3. 6 into 3 is 18. As you can see here, 4 into 0 is 0. So 6 into 3 is 18 plus 0 will give us 18. And 9 into 7 is 63. So 9 into 7 is 63. So therefore 63 plus 3 into 6 that is 18. So 63 plus 18 will give us 81. So the result for the third step is 81 plus 5 is the carry here. So 81 plus plus 5 is 86, 6 in the answer, 5, sorry, 8 gets carried forward for the next place. Moving, moving on to the fourth step, cross multiplication of tens places with hundreds places. So 6 into 7, 6 into 7 is 42 and 9 into 0 is 0. So simply we say that cross multiplication result, he, result here is 42. So 42 plus 8 is the carry here. So 42 plus 8 is 50. So 0 in the answer and 5 gets carried forward for the next place. And the last step of multiplication is 100 places of multiplication. And now since one of the two number, I mean one of the two numbers is a two digit number, the 100 place is, is 0 here. So the 100 place is, as it is a two digit number, the 100 place is 0 here. And 6 into 0 will result in 0. So 0 should be added directly. I mean 0 should directly be added to added to the carry that is 5. So we can say that the answer here is 50662. So this is how we can multiply a 3 digit number with a 2 digit number. The procedure remains same as the 3 digit multiplication. But the only point we note, we note here is before we start the multiplication, we need to consider a zero in front of the two digit number. So that it appears like a three, so that it appears like a two, three digit number. And as you can see here, that is in the last step or in the fifth step. So that is in the last step or fifth step, 
we actually we actually have nothing to do why because one of the hundred places is zero here so we have nothing to do here because one of the hundred places is zero so multiplication of hundred places will anyhow results in zero that means very clearly in the fourth step itself we can directly write the final answer so we can first step itself uh, we can directly write the answer so let us take one more example i mean you just try to solve it by pausing the video for 10 seconds try to solve by yourself so after solving then continue watching the video friends so the first step is multiplication of unit places i mean first we need to put a zero before a two digit number or in front of a two digit number. So the first step to solve this multiplication is 7 into 3. 7 into 3 is 21. 1 is the carry, 2 gets carried forward. The next step here is 7 into 8. 7 into 8 is 56. 56 and 6 into 3. So 6 into 3 is 18. So 6 into 3 is 18. 7 into 8 is 56. 18 plus 56 is 74. 74 plus 2 is the carry. 74 plus 2 is 76, 6 in the answer, 7 gets carried forward. So the next is, the, the, I mean the third step is a very important one, 7 into 5. So 7 into 5 is 35. So 0 into 3 is 0. So 35 plus 0 is 35 itself. The next one is multiplication of tens places, 8 into 6. 8 into 6 is 48. So, 8 into 6 is 48. So, 48 plus 7 into 5 is 35. So, that is 83. So, 83 plus 7. 83 plus 7 is the carry here. That is 90. So, 0 in the answer and 9 gets carried forward for the next step. So the, the next step here is the multiplication of hundreds places. Sorry, tens places with hundreds places. So the first step is multiplication of tens places with uh, hundreds places. So 5 into 6. 5 into 6 is 30. 5 into 6 is 30. And 0 into 8 is 0. So 5 into 6 is 30 plus 0 is 30 itself. 30 plus 9 will give us 39. And we very well understand that there is no, I mean, there is not, it is not necessary to go for the fifth step. Why? Because multiplication of hundreds places will anyway, will give us a zero. So at the fourth step itself, we can stop and we can uh, get the required answer. So the fourth step here is 5 into 6 is 30 plus 8 into 0 is 0. So 30 plus 0 is 30 plus 9 is the carry here. So 30 plus 9 is 39. So the answer here will be 30, sorry, 39, it should be 39, 39,061 would be the answer. So the answer for the multiplication 583 into 67 would be, so 39,061. So friends, multiplication of two digit number with three digit number is quite similar to three digit multiplication. So this is how you can multiply a three digit number with a two digit number by simply placing a zero in front of the two digit number. I hope you understood this concept friends. So try to have a good amount of practice on these kind of questions so that whenever you come across these kind of questions, so you should be I mean, ready to solve these kind of questions. I hope you enjoyed watching this session. Thank you so much for watching the video. And before ending the ending of this section, I request you to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share the video with your friends and if you have any doubts, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching the video. Have a great day.